What is up guys? Alright, so in today's tutorial we're going to be doing a scattered glass effect with our text. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to File, New. And uh, mine's going to look completely different than yours, but nonetheless we're doing the same thing. Make sure you switch it over to Pixels. You put 1920 by 1080. This is the size of a HD TV or HD monitor. Um, then we're also going to be putting our resolution over to 150 and then we're going to press create and here you guys are going to go ahead and switch over your colors if you want to copy my colors I'm doing 24, 24, 24 uh, you don't have to but a dark color would be good uh, 24, 24, 24 is what I have on the top and in the bottom I have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so that gives you from a dark black to a pure black, you're going to go ahead and grab your gradient tool and make sure that you have it set to radio. If you have it here, make sure it's in radio, make sure you're normal, and make sure it's at a hundred percent. After that, you're going to click somewhere around the center and just drag out like that. And you should have something that kind of looks a little um, grayish in the center and then dark to the end. Um, after that, you're going to grab your type tool and you're going to look for a font what you want is something bold like Arial black or you know din condensed or you know maybe good times impact you know any font that you see that's kind of bold i'm going to go with good times you won't have this font cuz this is a downloaded font and i'm going to go ahead and switch it over to white and i'm going to go ahead and type in here you can type whatever you want. I'm just going to type Apple because um, it is the computer I currently have. Um, but you can type like your first name, your last name, uh, any of those things. Um, secondly, before I start doing things without letting you know, um, I wrote this too small. So some of you still don't know that you can press Control, um, Control plus T and you can also press shift and you can also even do alt plus shift so I'll go ahead and show you right now what all of those do I'll go ahead and grab Apple right here as I have if I press control T that brings up my transform tools with here I can start resizing my font but look at what happens if I just start resizing now if I were to hold shift that automatically keeps Apple in a proportional state so it doesn't look all weird looking uh, keeps it proportional so I'll hold shift now if I hold alt shift it centers it from the center point so you know just something you all might want to look into alt shift from the center point shift only from the edge or the corner and without it it gives you all this weird looking stuff so alt shift and resize uh, I'll go ahead and put it somewhere around there and just center it right here to the center and I'll go ahead and delete this other guys um, from here what you're gonna want to do is right click and put rasterize your type note before you do this, you will not be able to type on this type layer anymore. So rasterize type. I can no longer type on it. I can only make effects. And you're going to be using this polygon lasso tool. Now if you see the lasso tool here, you can go ahead and leave it pressed and press the polygon lasso tool and you're good to go. Now the shortcut for the move tool is going to be V. And the shortcut for the lasso tool is going to be L. So get used to those on your keyboard so you can go back and forth. L, V, L, V, L, V, L, V. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab L for our lasso tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to start chopping off little blocks from the, from the font. So we'll go ahead and click here, here, and here. Then we go to V and we just move it out. And we're going to be doing this a couple of times throughout the letters. Um, just random. Doesn't have to be anything in particular uh, just you know something that I guess in your mind looks cool and go ahead and move that out uh, L and cut out another one here and V move this one out 
something like that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do something from like this corner, bring it all out. The yeah, that looks pretty cool. And you know, so on and so forth. So I'll go ahead and do this, and then um, I'll go ahead and speed through it, and you guys can go ahead and see the final results in just a second. Um, and yes, you guys will do this to your name as well, or whatever it is you choose to to design. All right. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back guys. So now that we have, you know, our letters cut, now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, grab our magic wand tool. So magic wand should be located on the fourth little icon under the quick selection. You might see quick selection or you might see magic wand. Make sure you grab the magic wand and we're going to go ahead and start clicking, holding down shift on our keyboard so you can see that little plus sign. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on all these little areas that we chopped off and once we do that we're going to well let me finish up I guess um, here 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 and here so once we do that we're going to press control X control X will delete them all control X and then we're gonna just press control V to paste them back in now using our selection tool or move tool we can just go ahead and place them back where they belong um, so we can use our our arrows on our keyboard to kind of put them in place that looks pretty good to me yep that works for me so now we're gonna go ahead and go to right click and blending options under blending options we're gonna be working with drop shadow and outer glow drop shadow we'll go ahead and press that up um, something around this this is completely up to you because we used a black background so you know there's only so much we'll be able to see but that kinda looks cool to me um, yeah that works you can kinda see a little bit of shadow right here as I move it around you can see in what direction it's going um, this looks pretty good to me I'll go ahead and leave it there and then I'll also add an outer glow an outer glow make sure your your blend mode is set to normal your opacity set to around 70 percent and make sure you are set it into black and then from there you can just set this accordingly to however you want uh, you'll start seeing a, a glow there I don't want too too much just a little uh, that looks pretty good to me and I'll go ahead and press OK so there we go now we have this so this is where we start adding the pictures now that I provided for you guys so I'll go ahead and bring in my metal texture and drop it in here I'll resize it remember holding shift and alt I can resize it from the center uh, and then press enter right here and I'm going to switch it over to multiply now the reason why I'm doing multiply is because multiply makes it stick to anything that is white and since our letters were white that's why it sticks now you can kinda see it in the background a little bit because we used gray but it's okay actually I kinda like that so it looks pretty good um, and then from here we're going to go ahead and import also our well this to me looks a little dark so I'm gonna go ahead and go to our you know adjustment layers and I'm going to maybe add curves and I'll right click to the curves and create a clipping mask that way it only sticks to the to the metal texture and I'll go ahead and bring that up to kind of brighten it up a little bit there we go that looks pretty good and just close that out and now we'll go ahead and add that last picture we have which is the glass shattered glass 
and this one's already the size of the picture so I'll go ahead and press OK and in this one instead of multiply we're going to select screen. Screen gets rid of everything that's black and even though this looks pretty cool I'm going to go ahead and add this underneath that picture and then maybe resize it just a little bit mm, maybe not because it's winding and there we go so this is the shatter effect uh, from here you can maybe play around with the opacity to not see it so much or something like that but that looks pretty good uh, from here what you'll go ahead and do is just go ahead and go to file and save as and make sure you're saving into documents and your image one and here I'll create a new folder uh, and call it working files and I'll save this as a Photoshop mm, text effect working and save okay and then I go to file save as go back to text effect create a new folder and call it finished files create and I go switch this over to JPEG and then just switch this to finished and then click save click OK and that's it we're done hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial um, I do expect this turned in by the end of class thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one peace out